Roblox keeps exceeding my expectations regarding the creation of horror games. Previously, it was Roblox Chain whose gameplay blew me away, but the butchery just takes it to the next level, mostly because of its Resident Evil style gameplay, an interesting story, and Oscar worthy voice acting and character designs that showed me the worst part of the internet. Today I'll be going over the story of the butchery and give my theories as to what is going on in game. The game starts off with the player driving around in a secluded area in the dead of night while listening to his favorite radio station when suddenly he comes across a strange pig-like creature that has human limbs attached to it. It seems to be feeding on something but as the player is staring, a knock at the window distracts the player which then leads to a blackout with the sound of glass breaking. The player then wakes up in an unknown location with two brothers named William and Jackson arguing over how to treat the new guest. And in between them is the same abomination that the player saw at the beginning of the game. William then explains to the player how they are to witness the great power and whatnot, you know, the usual insane cliché dialogues written in thousands of other media. The man bear pig then rises and smells the player before running out of the room, much to William's and Jackson's frustrations who go after it. The player frees himself and starts to explore the house, solving multiple puzzles and avoiding human-animal hybrid monsters while trying to escape. They also meet a baseball cap wearing bro dude who cannot go without saying dude in a single sentence but here is where the voice acting peaks in this one particular scene of the game that shifts it from Roblox to a whole other game. I had to catch it. Did you find that other guy? The dumb one with the baseball cap? He got away. I noticed the clock's been open so they've gotten this far. But don't worry, he'll turn up eventually. After watching his newfound friend become an unhandied cap, the player decides to roam around some more instead of using the gun in his inventory to shoot the brothers from the window. Instead, he chooses to shoot the monsters and clown toys because after all, you have vending machines that give you bullets for two coins. After some more exploring, the game ends with a transmission from the baseball dude who got captured and locked up in a basement with a monster. So the player heads towards the basement as well and the story will continue once the new chapter is released. I know it's a cliffhanger but art requires perfection and patience. Anyways, moving on to the theories, it's pretty obvious that the brothers have been kidnapping people from the forest and transforming them into these hybrid monsters. And with the way William explains it at the beginning, they are probably using it to invoke some kind of demonic entity or something who has bestowed the two brothers with some kind of a gift that allows them to shift these humans into these abominations. 